Phil and Murray are putting another coat of plaster on the dome there. Um, probably getting close to the final coat. Jonah's over here building the, the, the toilet room. Plaster the dome, getting the walls up. That beautiful young lady there is doing the shower. Getting the walls up for that. So there's, there's, there's a lot going on. We got we got about 20 Haitian people here just hustling over, hustling around. We're working kind of hard, you know, just trying to trying to make a good show of it. Hey, thanks, buddy. <laughs> That's for the last video. Now I'm gonna go find some water. Oh, and speaking of, while I'm on camp, no, I'm not saying that. what. I'm gonna think that one through. <laughs> Don't start thinking about things. But I got people sneaking in. I asked someone who called me last night to come and intern. I'm like, I'm full, full. I don't have enough food. I don't have enough money. It's just like it's impossible. There's not enough room in the top. It's just impossible. She, she, you called me last night. I said no, and I explained why. They called me this morning again. I said no, and I explained why. She came anyway. How's the cornice going, Rory? Good. Just got to replace a few bottles we knocked down while uh, plastering the dome. Okay. But uh, we should have a gutter roughly by the end of the day. It's definitely chaotic with uh, the language situation and. Uh, you know, we, we staged this thing like crazy, and it's pretty well staged, but still, it's a lot of people trying to get a lot done. Everybody's having to row with some blows and things, and all, all that being said, it's going fantastic. Yo, Selmo, everyone's gonna show you one word in Creole. Okay, Paul? Calais. 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 That's 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 this house can have a good temperature, otherwise to make um um we we live like a like a real a real person in this a, a, a house like that is so wonderful for every people in Haiti because our situation is very hard right now. If you have a home like that, it should be wonderful and for a family, a real family. Building a shower. Wow. This is a shower. You can't really see it right now, but under here is a botanical cell. This is your reception cell. So what this does here is it eliminates the need for pipes or plumbing, drains, all that complicated stuff that, you know, this situation is unnecessary. The water just drains right down through here and then into your gray water cells. So this, this just got put together today. Now we're digging the gray water cell here. This is going to help process the the you know shower, use shower water for flushing the toilet, which another plumbing thing happened over here. This is where the shower water is going to come up from the gray water cell, and that's the toilet that it's going to flush. Well, that's where it's big, right there. So the flange is in, this plumbing's in, gray water cells happening, and the shower is happening all this morning. Like See, I can't wait till the end. The last day we're going to take a walk through. With the banana leaves and the shower and the toilet, and this is the villa. This is a space. Just you and me on that one. This is like this, me, this is this like affordable Haitian luxury. Uh, I mean, I might just have to do one of these on my own property. What she said. She said that she loved that the style and she hoped to live in a home like that, in a home like that, with her, because um, she's a restaurant and with some friends, chill out every day and hang out every day, and it uh, kind of happens like that. <laughs> My name is Daniel. I'm, uh, I'm an architect. I'm uh, uh, specialized in urban architecture. I've been following the, the Earthship experience of Michael Reynolds, and I came here just to 
to meet with him and, and see exactly you know the kind of work he's doing in Haiti. This is fantastic, you know. It's a way to look at things and it's a way also to bring solutions starting from you know uh, local resources. We just got everything further. We about got the first uh, botanical cell in, and it'll be in tomorrow. We actually got its feeder cell from the shower. So day after tomorrow, we'll be showering and chitting. Mostly, I just like to be around the people. I like to be around people in Haiti and people in Jamaica who are just like live simply, you know, just rice and flour. And I mean, I don't know. The lifestyle just appeals to me, you know, because I live a similar one and uh, kind of comfortable around that kind of society. Well, not Dej, my friend there. I met her on the street, right? I saw how strong a woman she is. I was like, I want you to build a nurse with us because she's fucking amazing. She lives in a box that she made. They all do. Her and her boyfriend, who's here as well, Patrick. They all, it's a little community, and there's tons of these. You go around Port-au-Prince, you would never know that there's these big ravines everywhere. And there's dangerous rains and mudslides, and people do fall in and die, okay? So, um, we're going to go there tomorrow, actually. And I'm going to ask her permission, but I know it's cool. She likes you guys, and it'll be fine. We're going to go see where Nadia is like. He's here with us building near a ship. And you're going to get to see how someone just like us, same age, same mentality, same lifestyle, sort of, <laughs> okay? Um, same type of thinking, have a whole different life. And uh, basically, she lost a brother in the earthquake, she lost another one to disease, and, um, and she's not the only one. <laughs>